my lord? They'd have the country ruled before choosing a successor. I have more right to rule than most. There will be dark days ahead. If it's to be war, then so be it. Come, we have work to do. Boy, does that take me back. Man, oh man, I used to love that intro. <clears throat> this is Lords of, the Re Lords of the Realm 2. I think it's like a 1995 Windows game. And, uh, it was made by Sierra. And they, uh, I think they recently came back into business because they were, like, bought out or something. But they used to be a, a good game developer. And I really liked them because, like, they came out with this game, I think they came out with Lords of Magic, maybe a few others, but I, I can't really remember, but they were really good. And this game, Lords of the Realm 2, actually came with a few demos, because it was back in that time where demos would, you would get offered, you know, it would be like, do you want to install these demos whenever you installed the game? And it was like, hey, here are the demos, and I believe the demos for this particular game were Caesar 2, Lords of Magic, and some Civil War game, I can't remember it, unfortunately, but they, was, they were all good, I liked all the demos, so, you know, if I can figure out what that Civil War game is, I'm going to play it at some point. Okay, so you can buy Lords of the Realm 2 on Steam, as, with uh, Lords of the Realm 1 and Lords of the Realm 3, it's like a pack thing. Anyway, um, if you do run Lords of the Realm 2 via Steam, it's going to force itself into full screen and like 640 by some stupid resolution, because it, it's an old game. I can't remember what year it was even made, maybe 1993 or something like that, I don't know. Um, it's old, and so it forces itself in full screen, and you can't run it in Windowed. The only way to run it in Windowed, as far as I know, is to go and download a program called DX Wind and run it through DX Wind. And then you can have uh, windowed, which is what I currently have, just so I can record it, because otherwise none of my recording programs would work with it, and that was kind of annoying. Um, so, here we are. Lords of the Realm 2 is a pretty great game. I played it a lot. I, I had it for years, and I played it for years. I, I, I came back to it, like, like, you know, just did little random battles often, and I actually kept this disc at my grandmother's, um, because I liked playing it over there while I was visiting, because... We'd go up for dinner, and we did that so often, and I, I, I don't like talking to people very much, so I would play Lords of the Realm too. Um, you know, after eating, like, I would hang out, and that's where the social part, I would socialize while eating, and then after that we were done eating, I would, you know, while, while they all continued their socializing, um, I went and played Lords of the Realm 2 on the computer. And, um, yeah, so sh my grandma actually bought this game for me, and... It was, it had a really cool box. It was a big box and it looked really cool. Like the, the, uh, the, the, the art was really cool looking. And uh, yeah, it was, this, is a, this is a good game. 
Um, so this is Lords of the Realm 2. The siege is on! And what we're going to do is we're going to play a map. I don't really remember how to play this. I put in like 30 minutes just as a test and was like, okay, I kind of know how to play. But I don't really know how to play at all. Like, I know basic stuff and that's it. So we're going to be learning together as we go. And we're going to try to play this not on uh, enter your name and super difficulty. Your because super difficulty is too much. Now, what emblem do I want? Now, if I remember right, the AI have certain preferences. Like, the Countess likes the black and the blue, which the Baron also likes. The Bishop likes yellow and uh, purple. And the Knight really likes red and black. Uh, knight, Bishop, Count. Yeah, so I got them all. No one really, you know, so it's funny whenever you get them to be a color that they otherwise aren't. I always like that. I always think that's hilarious. Um, well, I like to keep into the theme, and I really like to go as the Duke, even though that's about the same of a, uh, it's about the same title as, as the Count, like, you know, it's the same level as the Baron, you know what I mean? But I like to keep it, um, keep the, uh, you know, the, the, the theme, and your silhouette is usually male, so... You, well, your silhouette is male, it looks male, so... Um, I just... I just assume it's male, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd be the Duchess. Um, or the Queen. The Queen fighting for her crown. That'd be kind of neat. Or the Princess. Or I could be the Prince. But I like being the Duke, you know, I like not being a direct successor. That's just fun to me. So, um, we're gonna be color here. I'm gonna pick... You know what? Let's go with blue. I kinda like blue. It's pretty okay. I was, uh, well, maybe purple. Nah. We'll go with blue. The purple's gonna be the bishop and the knight's gonna take yellow. Alright. So you can... There's several maps here and there's actually a map editor with the Steam version. So you can probably find a forum and download... Uh, maps people created, which would be kind of cool. Unfortunately, there's no Steam Workshop for this game, so that's a little bit of a bummer. So you got a lot of maps and of various sizes. I'll just go through them real fast so you can see them. Yeah, take a look, take a look. Obviously, some of these maps, because they're small, lead to combat much faster, which uh, I'm not a huge fan of. <clears throat> I like having big maps and having more room and stuff, so, you know. Alright, so my actual favorite maps in this game were China. Germany, I think I liked. Not a terrible amount, but I, I, I was like, this is okay. And uh, France, France and China are my two favorites because they're big maps and you have a lot of room. Um, you have a lot of places you can take over and I like that. <clears throat> Particularly, I like being Flanders in France, in the France map, because uh, there's, you know, there's only a narrow way for people to come in and attack you. So if you take this province, you, you got a little bit of a buffer and that's pretty cool. And let's see. Um, we'll probably play China. Usually you start right here in China. Um, I don't remember the secondary place that it likes to put you, but sometimes if you if you try long enough, you can get a uh, a weird spawn, and that's always fun. So advance. I'm, so I'm gonna try to keep these pretty simple. So my plan right now is to do the beginning of the game. Like, show maybe the first 30 minutes of, a can of, of this to kind of show you just how the game starts. And then I plan on showing a later, um, a later stage of the game, like the ending of the game. Um, and we'll see if I can do that. So, I'm going to start us off with 2,500 crowns. We're going to have fighting all. We're going to have five nobles, obviously. I'm going to have exploration be off so we can just see everything. I'll set the difficulty to normal. That seems fair. Some weapons is okay. No time limit because that's stupid. Uh, country status can be medium, I suppose. And we could start with a royal castle because otherwise we aren't going to really see a big ca a big castles. 
Um, I know that one of the AI likes to build stone castles. I think it might be the Countess who does, who has a preference towards it. But the AI likes to build stone, but you really don't see royal castles be built. Um, you will see keeps be built, and you probably won't see baileys or wooden castles really be built that much. But So we're going to start with a royal castle, which will be a pain in the ass because it means I can't take over anyone early. But it's so that later on in the game we can show um, a royal castle battle, hopefully. That's the plan, that's why we're doing it. So, Army's Eat is off, because this is just a really hard setting. Or at least it was whenever I tried it, and I, I just didn't like it. And I don't remember what advanced farming really does, so I don't put that on, because I'm not advanced. Um, we should probably actually set the difficulty maybe to easy, because I think this... The difficulty affects a lot of things. It affects how often your fields will flood, how often you'll lose fields due to um, heat, and that's a pain in the ass. Um, but I think it also affects probably the AI's tendencies to do things, and I don't really want to lower their tendencies to do things. Um, really though, I should play easy just so I can get a, the video recording out of this, and because I don't know what I'm playing and doing, but we'll, we'll stick to normal. If I lose, I lose, okay? So, <clears throat> whatever. Um, let's take a look at this. Let's let's start. Non 25 6 color display. What? Your Windows desktop is not set in because if problems occur. Okay. Feed your peasants to keep them happy and make them multiply. Make weapons and create an army. Conquer thy neighbors. Okay, so you get some of uh, you get these this this AI guy who who tells you not the AI guy but you get a narrator who tells you some things. Right click on items for information. Left click to perform actions. Use the slider bar to divide peasants between farming and industry. Clicking on industries on the map switches them on and off. Changes you make in a county do not take place until the following season. Okay. Cattle provide food each season, or they can be eaten. Wheat can be bought from a merchant and planted in winter. Click on a follow field to change its usage. Plan ahead several seasons. Don't get caught without food for your peasants. High taxes and army recruiting lower happiness. Very low happiness could result in riots. Ah, oh, I start with a flooded field. Damn, and I am I'm playing in a weird location here in, in, in central China. Usually it likes to put you in Cheng Tu Fu. So And I've been thrown into Chin Fang as well. But yeah, this is a, this is a common spawn here in Ching Ice Tong. I don't know any of these words, so I apologize. <clears throat> I think I got both of these at one point, but it was like really hard to get them. Alright, so you can set your tax. Obviously, you take in money per turn. You lower the happiness gain of your people. I'll set my tax initially to only 2%. All your people are fed by dairy, my lord. Awesome. So, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's start working on getting some fields back. Let's... Um, let's plant some wheat. I'll, I'll buy some wheat that I can plant. Buy Aha. these goods, my lord. No, I don't want that money. That's it's a little bit too much. We'll buy 150. That should be good. So thank you. Do I want to buy anything else while I have this option? Um, what can't I produce right now? I can produce iron, and I can, I can smelt. Obviously, do I have a lumber facility? Does not look like it. That's a bummer. Um, lumber is probably really important to get right now, so lord. not that much. Sorry, bro. I don't need that much lumber. Just like 200 will probably be okay. Oops. It's hard to get these uh, to really cooperate. So, you know, I'm buying this so I can make weapons early, because that'll be helpful. And wood's also pretty Buy cheap. Goods, and you lord. also need lumber for obviously building castles and stuff. You need lumber and stone for building castles. Um, iron and lumber are used for building weapons. And these are the various weapons that you can have. They're kind of expensive. You want to just buy them out right here. You can buy cattle as well. It's for food, obviously. And you can buy ale, which just makes your people happy. Um, which actually, you know what? Buy these goods, my lord. 
why not, you know? I'll, I'll buy some mail, I'll make my people a little bit happy. That's a waste of money, I understand, but... Let's, let's raise the happiness early, yeah? So, that's pretty good. Gonna set everybody to work. Uh, oops. No, no. Gonna set the majority of people to work my, uh, my dairy and all of that. So, that'll be good. Blacksmith to build a weapon. Shh, shush guy. Um, I like pikes and swords, just aesthetically. I don't really see any value in the knight. The knight is, uh, kind of an asshole. He's just a swordsman on a horse, which means he has mobility, but he doesn't seem to be all that much stronger. Maces go really fast. Um, I don't know how much damage they do, though. Crossbows, I never really saw that much value in. They're just a stronger archer, but they have a slower shot. Archers are pretty good. Um, but for now, why don't we work on... Let's work on maces. It's a bad idea, probably, but let's work on it. Let me look at what my storage, uh, what my... How do I get out of this? Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Get out of that. Um, what is... What a, well, let's send these compliments out. They're hand... You can hand write your compliment if you want. It makes no difference, though. Uh, yeah, so, you know, just send these out. This is how I like to start every, every match. I send out... Wow, I'm sorry, Knight. Your fields suck. Oof. Sorry, bro. I would hate that start. But he has way more fields than I do to start. My province is much smaller. All right. <clears throat> so we did that. We took care of some business. Let's see now. Oh, I forgot to... I, I'm supposed to put a small army down at the beginning of every one for every player. Just so that we have a, a, a garrison. My bad. I forgot that. All right. So the weapons that I currently have are 50 swords, 50 pikes, and 50 bows. And all of those are going to be used to invade a province, probably. So... You know. And then, like I said, these are merchants. They uh, they allow a country to buy stuff, so they're good. And they have names too, which is funny. That's Bernard Slap, and this is Jock McTooth. You know, you, so you can right click, castle. and you can see all this. Royal Castle, greatest defense against invading forces. It has a barracks for 600 troops. Tax revenues by 150. It boosts them, so makes life a little easier. But you know, whatever. It also uh, it helps the enemy too, which is all good. So, yep, just looking over some things. Country town. And if you click, click your on town. The area for details about it. Click and drag a box. Yeah. So you can move these guys manually if you want. Um, and you can see like what how many more you need to do stuff. So for instance, I'm gonna oops. I'm going to, um, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. I should have listened to his instructions. So I'm going to move those guys over to cattle. It'll make the fields be slow, but my population will be growing here soon, so it'll be fine. Okay. I really should have listened to him, right? What are the options? Whatever. None of those help. And you can always save and all that. I, the Steam version is what I should be playing on, so I can actually do stuff, but... And these are some just some little... Obviously, things that you can use as a, to to see certain things about your towns. We'll see some more stuff later, but let's. We're gonna have to end the turn and just not do much. What can I say, greatness runs in the family. Your love for the church is well known, my child. I'm sure your faith will be repaid in coming times. You pay me my just respect, and that pleases me. I shall remember your courtesy. You think far too highly of me, my noble friend. Methinks your flowery words reach too many ears. Um, so yeah, the first few turns, we're just gonna have to be skipping, there's not much we can do. And, uh, as you can see, all these guys now like me to a certain degree. I can send them another compliment, make them like me even more. But your compliments eventually lose, uh, like they stop giving a crap about your compliments. There's only so many you can send per game before they just don't give a shit. And you can offer alliances, insults, will just make them hate you more if you want to... I don't know why you actually insult people. Yet another compliment from beyond the hills. Perhaps you should kneel before me as your superior. No. Oh, you flatter me, kind sir. If you can rule as skillfully as you speak, you are surely bound for greatness. So, as we saw in the opening beginning thing, the king's dead. We're all trying to figure out who should be the next ruler. 
the Countess is staking her claim because she's nobility. The Knight is like a high-ranking Knight, so he's staking his claim because high-ranking Knights generally were kind of nobility as well in a way. Um, Baron is, a, is obviously high nobility. He's in there. And then the Bishop is like, because this is back when um, theocracies were more common and and the church had a lot of power. So he's like, I'll, I'll take over, you know. Twice you have now made your favor toward me known. Twice I have been very happy with your words. These soft words warm my heart, but do not feed my men. If you are truly my friend, send proof of your sincerity. And he, he just mentioned it. You can actually send supplies to the AI as well. I'm going to offer an alliance to the Countess, because I like her. Sir, these are troubled times. I ask you to forget our past differences. We needs must fight together to see off those who would do us harm. I'm going to read the other uh, the, the compliment thing to you guys, too. Verily, your oppression of the weak and the flattery of the strong are worthy of emulation. Pray, teach me more. Okay, just so that we had that. Put that down as well. And of course, we'll be gaining, obviously, some more population here soon. You'll and you can always check health, how much your population is growing and all of that. So, we had a bunch of births, very few deaths. And that's usually what happens. You can check everything, so it's all good. Um, my turn. Your proposed alliance is acceptable to me. We shall fight together. Like I've said, I like uh, my two favorite characters. I like all of the characters to some extent because the voice acting is pretty great. But my favorite characters are the Countess because she's a girl, and the Baron because I just like him. He's kind of a badass, I think. The Knight's a little bit ah. Uh, he's pretty cool, but ah. Uh. And once you do this, you have some extra options. You can terminate your alliance, ask ally for help, or ask ally to attack. And, uh, you, you know, you, it really doesn't matter if you ask allies to attack, because usually they're not going to really do much, and if you ask them for assistance, they're not really going to do much, so just ignore them. Now, you can have people move into your town from other areas, immigration, and you can have people emigrate and leave. So, although right now it's only showing emigration, really? thought you could have immigration as well. Maybe you're not allowed. Oh, there it is. Total immigrants. So we had 96 births. A lot of deaths because it's it's, it's winter. So. Well, be, you know, because it's... Well, that last season was fall. Well, people died. I don't know why. And we had some people immigrate. Because they're... Look how happy my people are. So they're like, oh, this is a good town. We'll come and live there. I hear troops moving. So the enemies put uh, a small number of men into their castle at this point. Okay. My popularity is real great. People Your are people happy. Are in good health, my lord. Look at all that. They're happy. You can have famines and other bad things happen too, so just keep that in mind. Um, as your population grows, you obviously need more and more food. And I need to adjust this so that I have more cattle, because the more cattle I have, the obviously the more dairy I Why have as good, well. My lord? So I'm going to spend a lot of money here on, um, on just buying food, which would be grain. Okay. Alright. And I don't want to take out troops for an army yet because I don't have the money. That sword with coin was just saying I could hire some mercenaries. So, that's useful to fill out your ranks. Heavy rains turn into a deluge, and a field is lost as swelling rivers burst their banks. Yeah, one of the more annoying things in this game is that you'll lose village. Uh, you'll lose those a lot. Peaceful family and always fearful of attack. Number of villages in a country is a good indication of its prosperity. All right, one of my fields is going to be back here. I'm going to put cattle in there because I have some crowding of cattle. I really would like to have more grain, but I don't have enough fields, and that's just a pain in my ass. And this city here has a lot of field problems, so I'm that it lost a little bit of value if I wanted to attack it. Um, this is a decent place to attack, but it has so little fields, that's a big problem. It does have a quarry, though, which is nice. Eh, that's pretty bad off. This is okay. Then down here is okay as well, I would like... Alright, so I would like to consolidate my... Yeah, okay. I'm kind of figuring out what I want to do, that's all. There are, if I remember right, there are a couple of tricks that you can do to screw over the AI. I just don't fully remember all of them, and I can raise my taxes by a lot. I don't really need to be not taxing my people. I need to be uh, taking all of their money because they don't need it. I need it. I'm the one. I'm the. I'm the lord here. I have to 
friggin take care of business a royal castle and you can also view enemy troops you don't actually get to view what's in them but you get to see where the army is from and you get to see their name which is which is kind of a cool little thing that their names and stuff and wow man a lot of I got lucky a lot of these places have some terrible fields like a lot of destroyed fields and stuff um, but I guess I probably got lucky because it's biased towards the places that don't have as many fields. So it probably is like a, you know, it's probably mostly like a percentage based thing, I guess. I don't know. My town's getting pretty big. I'm gonna the have to make an army soon. The marriage has led to a jump in the number of children born recently. Only the clerks complain of the need for another census. That's a good event. Let's get some more cattle. I'm guessing the enemies just re keeps reinforcing their castles because they need a lot of troops in them and so they like to do that. Um, Bernard slap. Bernard slap. I want some more grain. I, I, I like, buy these goods, I like buying grain. I like having grain. You know, it keeps my people fed. It's pretty great. Heavy rain. Son of a bitch. He's flooding. It's terrible. I hate the flooding. The flooding sucks. It's such a pain in my ass. Put cattle there because, again, the cattle is getting a little bit crowded. Um, yeah, a little bit crowded. You can sell cattle too, make some money off of them if you're like really getting cattle like crazy. So, you can do whatever. Um, how much do I need for making. Blacksmith. Oops. Blacksmith on. How much do I. Um, how do I use the slide? How do I? How do I? How do I? That's how. All right. So maces cost four and four. And uh, for some reason, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of stuff cut off. That's probably really bad and not going to help. So you can see the values that you need for all this stuff as well. So four, four, five, four. That's okay. I will keep that. Get out of that menu. So we're almost to the point where I'm going to make an army here soon. Heavy rains turn into a deluge. Oh, there goes a field. Another field. I just keep losing fields. All my fields get destroyed all the time. It's so bad. Buy these goods, my lord. Yes, I would like some lumber so I can make shit. It's pretty great. All right. Now we can make a shit ton of maces. Next turn, I think I'm going to finally build up uh, an army. Let's do one more turn. One more turn. Then we'll build up an army. Because I don't think the AI have any armies out yet. So I don't need to really hurry. Obviously, they've actually fortified their castle. But, you know, whatever. I'm not in danger of being invaded, I don't think. And let me see my weapon supply. 150, 173, that's pretty good. and It could be better. I'm going to switch over to bow production now so that I can start filling out my castle. And I'll probably also make a few cross... You know what? Let's make crossbows first, even though I... Just to test them out. Okay. And, um... Let's go one turn before I do anything. And this is a me... Like a... a I, I think it tells you how good your health is, so you can improve your health by raising your rations. Um, so I'm gonna make an army because we also are getting out of the realm of how many people we can actually survive with. This will lower your happiness making an army, but it's unfortunately necessary to go and conquer the enemy. And your population's happiness will decrease as you make a larger army, so it's a little bit of a balancing act. I'm going to go ahead and just make a giant army though. 50 archers. Are they, are they gonna come? Usually once you choose, they come out and they, they pick up stuff. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, there he is! The bow! Then he leaves. It's just neat. It's a neat little thing. Swordsman, 50 of them. There we go. Shing! 50 pikes. And 
173 macemen, and the rest of the men will be form of, formed of peasants. Peasants are the weakest unit, but, you know, and, and also the default, but whatever. Alright, let's roll. Good army here. What are their names? They're called the Lions. Army from Ching. So what did I want as my first, uh, first place? Let's see. I don't really want there. This would be a good one. It has all of its fields. It's pretty okay. Um, this is still not fielded up. Yeah, I do. I do want to expand to these two, but we're going to start with that one back there. After raising an army, move it toward a neighboring county. You can move fifteen. The of your men at arms in our county is unacceptable. Remove your troops now, or face the consequences. To try to conquer a county, attack it by moving your army on top of the town center. You have a certain amount of moves per round, and uh, yeah, there's some tricks, like I said, that you can that you can do to the AI if I remember correctly. Ah, oh, my gosh, my fields are just getting destroyed. I'm I'm just I'm, every time I fix one, the rest get wrecked. The AI still haven't yet gotten uh, an army out for invasion, which probably means their castles are really fortified. I think the AI likes to fortify their castle before they do anything else. So I'm going to just start a battle here. Mm -hmm. Take the field. And you can always auto-gen it, which is sometimes really valuable and sometimes not. But I'll play it just so you can see, and unfortunately this isn't the best. Okay. And the amount of, like, actual fighting characters will increase or decrease based on how many people are on the field. And you can see how much health they have. If there's a bunch of them, they'll have a lower health status. If there's less, then they'll have higher. Okay, I'm gonna send my mace down to there so that they have a better chance of flanking and taking out the archers, because I want the archers taken out first. Alright, peasants. To the front! You're the cannon fodder. Obviously. The music's great in this game. Swords! Pikes! Behind the peasants! You can only have so many units selected at one time as well, by the way, so... And they'll try to keep their formation based on how they were standing, so if you, you'll have to kind of force them together if you want that. Which usually I do want them to be kind of a little bit closer together, but I do respect and like that they keep their formations um, otherwise. These guys didn't because they ran into each other, but that's fine. Okay, boyos, we're almost ready to march. Attack! Go, 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 go! The maces are here behind you! Surprise! And archers, get down there as well. So, there's a little bit of micromanaging you can do here. You can order troops to do attacks and try to take damage. Now, if you're attack, if two people are attacking the same target, they automatically do full damage. Otherwise, you know, there's going to be some defenses and, you know, they're both going to exchange blows. But if you're attacking from the side, you get full damage on them without having any, um, any re reciprocatory attacks. So, that's really nice. I lost a lot of troops. I don't really know how to fight, clearly. Troops carried the day into the famous victory and you'll struggle towards the throne. I mostly lost peasants, but I took a few sword casualties and a few pikes. A few mace, but the mace actually came out pretty well. I think that the mace were probably standing there a little bit too long. Alright, so... First place captured. This is our first, uh... First location. Forestry. Blacksmith. Right. Uh, we'll turn blacksmith. Forestry. Oops. Forestry. Blacksmith. We're gonna turn blacksmith Forestry. off just so that we have more. All your people are fed by dairy, my lord. More shit. Now I think I want to let them eat a few cows. Normal thing. We're gonna tax you guys a little bit less. Speaking of taxing, my home country, county should be taxed just a slight bit less. And, uh, yeah, that's good for this turn. Now, I can't move anymore because I obviously, you know, fought. So, that's pretty good. And I, I think... Building a castle makes it much harder for enemy... I think I'm going to choose to build a castle here. And, uh, you can build whatever you want. This castle sucks. And this is a little bit better. A Norman key. This is even better. 
A stone castle. Better, a royal castle. Better. So you. A stone castle. You can build whatever you want. A wooden palisade. This is a little bit behind territory. I might just build a wooden palisade, honestly. I don't really. A mot and bailey. But now I'll build a mot and bailey. Alright. And right now it needs materials. It needs. And a you can always right click and, and see what you need. I need a bunch of wood and some stone. And I don't have any means of getting wood right now because there are no, uh, no guys around. A band of Burgundy mercenaries is available for hire. I'm too poor to hire these mercenaries. Damn. Would have been nice to have. Would have been nice to have. I also need to buy grain in this area so that I can plant it. Or I could ship some grain from this area, but I don't. I don't want to do that. Okay. My cattle are dying, and I don't know why. A band of Norman mercenaries. Damn, I can't afford. All right. To start with, we're probably going to. Um, probably going to just fill my castle with mercs with mercenaries mercenaries caught like demand a higher upkeep than your normal troops though so Buy you don't want to you don't really want to keep them that long they're kind of a pain in the ass so usually the first troops that you want to throw into combat are the mercenaries if you're able to distinguish who's a mercenary and who isn't all right you're gonna send some send supplies to some wheat country? to this other county here It's always nice when you conquer a county and they actually gave you like a shit ton of food. That's always wonderful. It's my favorite thing. Okay. And I'm gonna pull my troops back into my main area as I think about my next, uh, my next conquest. I don't know where we're gonna head next. Saxon mercenaries is available for hire, my lord. Too poor because I bought all these supplies. This transport is moving goods from one. And if you see transports moving in their enemy transports, you can destroy them. So, yeah, fair game. Uh, I suppose this will be our next conquer. Or I could cut off the bishop and conquer that, but I don't want to fight the bishop. He'd be a pain in the ass to fight. So I'm trying to stay out of everyone else's way early on. I'm really tired, by the way. Like, I'm, I'm very sleepy. And this is just how the game goes. Sorry, I, I, I just wanted to check how long I was recording for, and it's been 34 minutes. I think we'll go to around 40-something, and then that'll be the end of this episode, and then there might be a follow-up episode um, where we play more of this. So, maybe. We will see... Heavy rains turn into a... Uh, my fields. Now let's take a look at the greatest nobles, shall we? The greatest noble. I'm the greatest noble! Because I have two territories to your one, you fools! Most people. I also have the most population, because two most to people. one. Oh, the Countess is most really troops. happy, people. The Knight has a shit ton of wealth. Most troops. The Baron has a bunch of troops. Oh man, I have the least most castles and we all have the same and I have two counties so does the Baron have an actual army out yet or does he just yeah he has an actual army out this is an enemy. the magpies obviously if you take territories close to other people you sort of event you you increase the chances of coming into conflict because they'll you know want to expand and take over and he failed his army failed to take over Fu Qin. that's um that's interesting that occasionally happens. Their armies get defeated by really giant, powerful towns. Uh, I'm probably going to invade Xing Tong next, to be honest, because Xing, his, 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 his will be a little bit too powerful and hard to take out. Um, man, I 
really... Bob the Shop? Cool. Great name. Uh... I'm gonna sell some cattle. I'll sell like 20 cattle. Maybe 25. Yeah. And what do I want to buy? What do I want to buy? I don't really have anything that I want to buy other than grain, obviously. I really like well. buying grain to supplement, you know, my food supply. It's important to me. And I can increase my taxes again. So I'm going to re-increase those. And these ones can't really be increased yet, damn. Oh well. Um, let's convert this to a farm. To a wheat field, rather. This poor defenseless country has, has been ruthlessly occupied by one of your enemies. So the Countess is the first to draw blood, capturing a, con a, con a county, the Merciless, an army from Qing, yeah, whatever. Can't believe the Baron failed, that's insanity. Um, it's really effective, by the way, to follow an enemy into a province and let them attack it first and then attack it right after them. So, do that when you can. Um, all your people are fed by Because it's dairy. useful. Let's, let's eat some cattle. Just, let's eat some cattle. Okay. Eat some cattle. Because I want to lower my, uh... want to lower how many, um... How much wheat is being eaten. Because these pigs are eating a lot of it. The fat asses. Let's change my weapon production to something a little bit more useful. We'll do pikes or swords. No, pikes, I can make so many more pikes, so. We'll do that. And I like pikes. Pikes are cool, because they, they have pikes. Boy, am I tired. Boy, oh boy. I was. Okay, so I love it, and by love it, I mean I hate it. When you wake up and you're still like dead asleep basically and everything's just really weird and, and, and you just, it's so bizarre. I hate that. It's so crazy and it's like, oh man. Feeding them less will affect their health slowly, so don't, don't do that, but I have to. Um, Buy these goods, my lord. I'll spend all my money, I don't give a shit. Okay. You fat asses, you can have full food again. Mining off. Mining on. Yeah. Boo. Okay, we're about to have the castle done. That's pretty neat. A band of Irish mercenaries is available for hire, my lord. Well, I can't get them, so I mean, you know. Um, next turn I'm gonna hire some troops. The castle has been finished in the county and is ready to receive a garrison. Now, when you build a castle, you automatically get a get a garrison of archers, and it's so goddamn cool. The dragons, an army from Ho Tung. I don't know if they actually Your people are in good get pulled life. out as like a... Nope, doesn't look like they get pulled out as a population either. It just looks like it's totally free. That's pretty freaking cool, huh? Really cool. This game's slowly coming back to me, and I like it. Alright. Where did her army ever run off to? Did it go and die somewhere? I'm gonna guess it died. This is an enemy The army. Wrens. Interesting, interesting. And the knight, I'm gonna guess, attacked somewhere and failed at this point. Maybe the bishop did as well. Unless they just really haven't made an army, which would be kind of bizarre. This poor defenseless county has been ruthlessly occupied by one of your foes. I feel bad for the countess. Her her lands are, are pretty beat up field wise. I don't I don't like that. I feel bad for her. Um, okay, I'm gonna hire an army. Oh man, I lost a lot of people. Look at them. Blah, dead. Alright, let's make an army here. Gonna want that, and I, I think I want this as well, so. Let's just destroy my entire population here. Just absolutely ruin them. Um, I could build crossbows, huh? Yeah, let's put some crossbowmen in this. In this bitch. They're not actually going to come with the army. I'm going to split them off and split them off and put them in my castle. Create the this army. Your the pigs. This army. 
Um, I want the I want all of them. I want all of the crossbowmen to be separated, and they will go to the castle. For now. The presence of your men at arms in our country. What do you? Oh, the, this is one of yours. The foxes. Awesome name. Garrison awesome name. Way better than the retarded pigs. I can't remember if you combine these. Let me armies. see if this will stay the pigs. Of okay, good. They switched to lions. Phew! Because the lions is a cooler name. Um, I guess I should take Ching Tung because it'll just be an easier conquer. And then I can take this one shortly after. Yeah, let's do that. Seems like a we plan. To our humble county, my noble lord. We hope your journey through it will be a pleasant one. Look how friendly they are to an invasion force, because that's what I'm coming to do, is invade them. Because I'm a nice guy like that. I'll make your lives better. Uh, I want to try to autogen this and just see. Mm, that didn't go fantastic. I probably wouldn't have lost any archers had I done that myself. The addition of this new shire gives you a solid base. You should now consolidate your gains, my lord. That's why I build castles. Consolidation. And Bailey. I'm just gonna build another Mon Bailey. I can upgrade them later, and um, it costs. You, you, the, basically, the cost of whatever castle you built before is taken out of the one that you're building, so that's nice. Okay. Keto. Keto. And uh, let's rebuild some fields here, shall we? Don't know why the, uh, the AI didn't start doing that. Start getting this done. Let's work on some forestry. And, uh... How much is needed here? How much is needed? Just tons of wood. All right, that's not good. I don't like losing all my wood for castles. It kind of upsets me. But that's what happens when you build the ones that need a lot of wood first. I know. I know. Oh, the tax is way too high in this province. No tax, no tax. You guys can be uh, starving, but you will not be taxed. Okay. The knight still hasn't gotten an army out there. And the baron is looking like he's going to try to invade Fuchun with that army that is like half dead, so they're going to fail. Man, I guess I shouldn't have made the AI um, have giant castles because it started them. It made them a lot slower. Their their beginning, their early game, um, because they don't ignore stuff like I do. Both of them are making Mont and Bailey's as well. Interesting. All right, army, let's leave this location. We got to start preparing for another invasion. We're getting way ahead of the AI. Oh my God, my cattle are going to just be slaughtered. Hey, fat asses, you're done eating cattle. You friggin' idiots. Jeez Louise. Slaughtering my cattle. My poor cattle. My poor cattle. Everywhere are dying. I like them. These people are just so hungry. Oh, man. The Black Death is He's spreading across, across the county. county. There is neither a peasant nor a nobleman that has not been touched in some way. 140 extra deaths. Oh no! Oh Your no! Sick, my lord. They got sick and no, oh, they're they're dying now. Ah, oh, shit. That's always bad. Um, start doing that. Kind of working our way through it. I guess I'll have to supply my troops from home. Ho Spanish mercenaries is available for hire, my lord. Like I said, I'm missing the monies, you know, and that's making me pretty sad, but what can you do? Um, I should really put more effort into getting wood supplies and, and getting archers, I think. But, I think that'll have to do it the for... Have been discovered in the county's type bonds. Assholes. Friggin' eating my shit. You can starve, you bastards! Everywhere you can starve. Starve! Starve! And their health will drop because of that that horrible decision by me. And uh, why don't we um, 
Mm, before we end, I will, uh, I will, I'll invade one more province. Just, just to show that. Don't really have much pikemen, which sucks. This is one of yours. The stallions. Nah, it's not as good as the uh, the lions. So I'm just gonna eat you. Nom 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 nom. And now we this are the lions together, forever. And what province should I invade? I mean, I could go up to. Oh, that's the bishop. He has the Parthians. Army. That's a big army. Amot and Bailey. The Rotus. I guess I'm going to be heading to uh, the middle province here. This poor wow, he took a lot of casualties. The bishop really... So each character also has a preference preference towards what kind of troops they make. Um, the bishop has a preference towards peasants. He likes to just use large, large amounts of peasants. Um, I think the knight... Uh, I don't remember what the knight and the baron like. craze for marriage. And I don't remember what the Countess likes. Oh, I'm gonna start feeding you people so that you all start dying of, of plague. Oh, the plague, it's killing everyone. Oh, God. Oh, we're all dying. Oh, it's horrible. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go take over a, a province now. I think it'll be this one. If anyone wants to fight me, I'm gonna kick your ass. Please ensure that your men pass swiftly through, as their presence here disturbs the people. Oh, that's a shame. I'm about to really disturb the people. Ooh, this is gonna be a tough battle. Ooh, shit. Ooh, shit. I mean, I'm superior in every way, but... Ooh, shit. This is an interesting battlefield. Let's see where the enemy takes up position. Unless you're outnumbered, the enemy's just gonna go and hold ground, so... You have to figure out what their, what their ideas are. All right, so they're gonna, they're guarding, um, they're, they're guarding that bridge, and that's where they're setting up shops, so. Which is obviously a great idea, and that's what they should be doing. So you guys go down there. I think I'll just fully go around them. I think that's the best plan. Except for one contingent of peasants. They'll press from the bridge. I used to be really, like, really good at this game, and by really good I mean decent, because I played it a lot, but I don't remember how to play it anymore, so... Bowman ready! And then we'll position behind them, and they might adjust their formation a little bit to address the fact that I'm behind them, but we'll see, we'll see. Yes! Alright! Ready, my lord! Ready, my lord! I love the voice acting. I really do. It's fun. Swords! Alright, alright, this is looking okay. This is looking... Now, if you do the bridge right, which is just four units, like, all over here, you can really do some damage to an attacking army, so... You should bear that in mind. Awesome. This is going to be a bloodbath for both sides. No one's getting out of this uh, this fight very very well. Go 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 go! I can't remember what these control. That's automate. What is this? Uh, mop up enemy troops, so telling your true to just attack. Lower castle, retreat from the field, and pause if you want to look over. And you can, I think you can issue some orders and they'll, they'll carry them out. Uh, no, they won't. I don't know. Alright, so what I need to do is get all of these guys and be like, go get them. Mop them up, team. Mop them up. Uh, I thought that would tell these guys to engage. It didn't. Take out that pike. He's the important one. You boys, get them, get them, get them. There are no enemy archers left alive. They're all dead. No one's getting shot to pieces here. Fight that one. Right, so this is this went decent. I still took a lot of casualties, but overall it went okay. I don't know why the archers moved into such weird locations, but whatever. Hey, attack, stupid! I need more damage done. 
Stop taking damage. Move away. Okay. And they're dying, dying, dying. Just waiting on them to die. Hey, put in some damage, stupid. Your troops carried the day, another famous victory in your struggle towards the throne. I lost a shit ton of peasants, but that's perfectly fine. So. All must fall before you, it seems. Your growing tally of lands is being whispered of. Success. Quarrying on. I want a, a trade thing to come through here so I can so I can trade off some things. Um send supplies to which county? I'm gonna send forty cows over here. Send supplies to which county? I'll send twenty to here. Because they'll provide more dairy for them. Send supplies to which county? Yeah, I'll send twenty to here. Awesome. Very fabulous. Okay. And all I'm allowed to do here is work with Blacksmith. this. Oh. That's fine. I'll, I'll blacksmith it up. Um, what are you guys doing here? I'm still poisoned. I'm dying from that. Um, blacksmith. Oh. I'm going to take a few people out of that group. And that's about it until this castle gets done. Alright, so I'll catch you guys later, hopefully. Um, I'm gonna keep playing, and hopefully I'll show you guys another episode of just, like, some more of the sieges, which will be the big castle sieges. Um, that's what I want to show you. I want to show you a royal castle, just a couple of the sieges, whether it be Mott and Bailey, royal castle, whatever. I, would, I will do a royal castle, but hopefully I can also do the Mott and Bailey, and, uh, and maybe a keep as well. So look forward to that. See ya!